Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I am a voice teacher, vocal coach, professional singer, piano teacher, and pianist. And today I am looking at doing another reaction video to Demi Lovato performing Father Live. Let's have a listen. Mm. Father, I want to say thank you. Up for just a minute. I fell in love with Demi Lovato at the Grammy Awards and I heard her song Anyone. Oh, she blew me away and I will be a fan for life. And I'm going back to 2017 and this is new for me. I don't know the song at all, but I'm already captivated by her presence and how she has her eyes closed because this is something that so many singers are told not to close their eyes in so many settings. But I've seen again and again the world-class singers close their eyes to tune into the emotion and the feeling. And when they grasp that emotion, they can sing fully. And so I see this again and again. So let's keep going. Always wish you the best. I'm almost crying now. Oh, the way she works the lyrics, the way she sings, it's just like throwing it all on the curb. Oh my gosh. I'm just blown away by her passion and her integrity and her emotional honesty. And on top of that, her technique is great, but we'll talk about that later. Let's keep going. stop just for a minute. No, she is just so spot on with her emotional intensity, her voice. And I just wanted to just stop that moment because she did that little embell embellishment. I classy, you embellish the emotional words because some of beginning singers will embellish words like the or just trying to throw in some embellishment to be cool. But the way it's supposed to work is you're going to embellish the word that means the most. That's what she did. Even if you started this, this whole in me. You did your best, or did you? Sometimes I think I hate you. I'm sorry, Dad, for feeling this. I can't believe I'm saying it. I know you were a troubled man. I know you never 
never got the chance to be yourself, to be your best. I hope that heaven's given you. tears. I don't know if you can see them, but oh, every time that is such an incredible performance and new song to me. It, I'm guessing that her dad's passed away. Oh, what an emotional performer. What a beautiful songwriter and such intense emotional, just throwing it out. Ah, oh, put on this makeup. <laughs> I, I think it's going to, I think it's bulletproof. I think I'm safe, but gee, wow. What a troubled woman, but this is what art does, is you take your emotional angst and your feelings and you write music that touches other people. Because you know what? When you personalize things so deeply, it becomes universal when you share it because so many people feel likewise about their parents or anyone in their life that's good and bad and the angst of losing them and the angst of being, you know, dealing with some of less than good parenting, yet it makes them yourself, but you love them. It's, it's deep, it's heavy. And that she can just share that so honestly and nakedly, it's just so beautiful. And it offers so much comfort to so many other people. And so I'm just a huge fan of her life. So let's move on to her vocal technique because the intensity of her performance is so powerful that we don't always recognize what a fabulous singer she is. So there's so many ways besides her intense emotion and dedication to what she's singing about, but her technique is really good because first of all, she's a great musician. And what I mean by that is that she shapes her phrasing and she shapes the journey. She starts with a very intimate sound. You know, I don't know these words. I don't know the song, so I can't really imitate it. But she starts with this very, we call in the musical term, we call that piano. Piano means soft. So she, she really shapes the dynamics of the soft sounds to the medium sounds, and then the full-on belt, which nobody does it as good as she does. She makes it look easy, and it's really very difficult to get that belt under control in a way that is super accessible. And then at the end, she went back down to that intimate lower voice. That's a master. That is a master in performance and musicality. And then her technique is also really good. Her diction is flawless. I understood every word. I don't know the song, but I heard all the words. And that doesn't always happen with every artist. And then her, I look at the jaw a lot. When singers have a really loose jaw, the jaw is the jaw swing like this. And even her soft parts, her jaw is very relaxed because the resonance comes from the mouth. Vocal science, I am a vocal geek. Um, has researched that the mouth is the resonator. So what you're doing with your mouth is gonna really affect the sound. So when she's in the lower type of voice, it's more of a speech quality. And she's got that nice gritty kind of raspy tone naturally. It's got that big round face with lots of resonate space. 
And then when she goes to that belt, oh my gosh. And when we talk about the belt, I don't really like that word because it reminds me of parents or fathers that used to bring the belt to the kids. That was my generation and maybe hers as well. So I don't really like that word, but it's sticking with us. And that's when we get this teeth back, that almost feral ah, face. And that is like when you just say, hey, get out of here. So that's definitely very natural, but it's only been recently that vocal teachers have approved of belting. Yeah, whatever. Um, and she does it so well. And ah, the teeth, corners are back. I call it the zipper mouth, corners are back teeth open and she gets a big sound but i never get the sense that it's over the top or she's going to lose control of the belt because that's another thing that can happen people get really big they get heavy gets a little wonky and it gets heavy and that creates vocal fatigue i don't get that in her she is just ugh, brings it out in just almost an animalistic way and the emotion is so intense and that jaw drops down and everything is just really relaxed even though she's in that emotional place you don't even notice the technique. I notice the technique because that's my job. But you just are taken along on this emotional ride. And I respect her so much to put all that out. Not every artist can do that. They kind of sing things that there's like this wall there. They're only going to sing and only emote so much because it's hard. It's honest. It's naked. It's ugly even and angsty, but she's not afraid of it. She goes into it. She relishes it. And that is what is so amazing about her and her performance. And I love her to death. No, I don't love her to death. I love her for life. Okay. I'm not going to say those things, but she is so compelling and I'm a huge fan and I just love her honesty because the technique is just the tool. It's all it is. And the tool needs to be mastered. But then once that tool is mastered, then you can emote and express in a way which is total freedom. And that's one of my vocal teachers said, the, the goal is vocal freedom. So the voice is going to serve that emotional journey that you're going on and serve the music and the feeling. All right. Thank you so much for following me and watching this journey of Demi Lovato and her beautiful song, Father. I should let you know that I am a voice teacher and vocal coach and piano and piano teacher. And because the craziness now with the virus, all teaching is pretty much going online. So if you are interested in voice or piano lessons, please go to my website at vocalsplendor.com. I also have a Patreon that I have different levels of things that I can give you for supporting me. I also am Weezio where I can give you a reaction to your own audio or video file. And I have a free Facebook group called Creative Soul Alignment, where we discuss the interplay between the creative arts, all creative arts and spirituality. You can find all the information below and I'd love to see you there. All right, take care and have a great day. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.